Okay, Axio. Whew, I am passionate about Axio, and you guys, if you've been involved in this business, I feel like most of us are not sharing Axio enough with people, okay? Uh, that's a big, big, big miss. <coughs> Even business-wise, you want to tip, grow your business, great. I mean, get people using more of these products, right? So I got a huge story with Axio, and I'll share that with you. And again, you know, use these stories, uh, peak interest, share with people. So when this came out, I've been with the company over four years at that point. Uh, it was September uh, 2, what, so 2014, uh, when Axio was launched. You know, it was labeled as like a healthy energy drink, right? Well, I'm a high energy person, never had an energy drink. Uh, my husband would probably kill me on it, if I couldn't survive it. Um, I, I was excited by it, but I thought I'll take it when I need a boost, right? Anyone kind of feel that way? Uh, thankfully, I am so grateful. One week into the pre-launch, uh, I did a meeting with Dr. Mark Gordon, a cardiologist in my group, September 10th. And I remember uh, calling my husband on the drive home saying, we have missed the boat in a big way. This is Nerf 2 activation straight to the brain. It's liquid brain food. The effects are cumulative and we need to be drinking this every single day. 11 days later, uh, so the next morning, September 11th, we all start drinking it. Um, 11 days later, my son, the little one who was diagnosed with autism, Luke, so we'd worked with a doctor every week uh, for over a year at this point. 11 days into Luke drinking the drink, Dr. Brimhall comes to us and says, wow, Luke had a great day. He was much more focused. He said his uh, verbal skills improved by roughly 50%. The very next day, his speech therapist came to us and his ABA therapist. These are all people that worked with a minimum of once a week for a year. They came to us not knowing there was any change, noticing a difference. Same kind of thing, Luke had a great day, he was more focused, we got through a lot more information, things like that. And just to kind of give you an idea what we were seeing, and I had kind of noticed a few things too, and honestly I hadn't said anything, which is weird for me, but I didn't want it to be like, oh, there's Carrie's drink, right? Um, and, but, and I wasn't, never in my wildest dreams that I expect what to happen, a loop happened. So by that point, he was four, uh, we had it where he could talk, just to kind of give you an idea, like you could say, what's your favorite color? And he might say red, or he could say dinosaur, no joke, <laughs> it was random. Uh, so that same point in time, roughly two, he was crazy into dinosaurs, he would roar people and everything. Um, Two weeks into it, then he, I remember him roughly at the same time frame, he says, comes to me, Mom, there's a scorpion in the pool. And in my head, I kind of thought, yeah, right. Just because he calls, you know, whether it's all bugs or flies or bees or ants, whatever. But it was a scorpion. But in bed that night, he, he said, Mom, I was right. You were wrong. It was a scorpion. <laughs> and then he said, I knew it was a scorpion because I saw its head, I saw its body, I saw its arms, I saw its legs, but where was its neck? You guys, I still remember calling my husband into the, that room saying, you're not gonna believe what Luke just said. Like, this is a kid who could say dinosaur was his favorite color two weeks ago. For him to get all those thoughts out, absolutely phenomenal, you guys. And then it just started flowing from there. Now, I want you to know, uh, Luke was on Nerf 2 before we ever knew he had delays, okay? Uh, I'm passionate about prevention. Truly, when I very first saw that video, I didn't know enough. I wasn't thinking about my kids. Not that I'm a bad mom, but I saw it takes you back to the oxygen stress of a child and I had a newborn and a four-year-old. Um, so I wasn't thinking about that. But my older one had a little girl in his class with leukemia in preschool. She did so well on the product. I thought, why on earth am I not giving this preventatively to my kids? And at that point, I just thought, if the older one, you know, that, that cold that never goes away, right? It just doesn't bring that home to the baby or things like that. And I just thought, wow, if I can help with this, right? Oh, I want my kids on it preventatively. So he was on ProTandem before we ever knew he had delays, before he would have talked or anything. Uh, so I know in my gut, right, um, that this has absolutely made a difference for him, but we'll, I can't say for sure. He saw one of the top autism docs in the country. She said, Carrie, for anything neurological, you gotta do three things. She said, number one, you have to lower oxidative stress. 
check. <laughs> she said, number two, you got a lower inflammation. She said, there's neuroinflammation in his brain. Okay, we got patents on that. And the third thing she said is, you have to uh, increase glutathione. This yeah. increases it by 300% consistently. Mm -hmm. In her clinic, they gave kids injections weekly for roughly 100 bucks a pop, and it increases it by about 60 to 70% for two days. And you could see a smidge of difference in speech, and then it would go right back down. So we did that. We were looking for anything that could give him any incremental improvement. So she believes it kept him from sinking deeper into the, uh, into it, and he wouldn't have made some of the progress without. Well, then from two to four, we did, like I said, 35 hours a week of therapy. We were looking for anything that could give him that incremental improvement without hurting him. We were open-minded. Um, and you guys, I am so grateful for this business because this business gave us the ability to do that. So he made, you know, little progress, small, little, steady progress. But again, you're looking for anything. Then Axio comes out, and at that point, it was the one and only change for him. And it, it changed everything for him. Nine months later, we switched him to a new school. You know, now they don't know his diagnosis, and like I said, he's absolutely rocking it. Uh, I think I've got, yeah, I got a slide in that real quick. I'll show you. Oh, great. He takes both. Um, the question was, what Axio does he take? He does both uh, raspberry and dragon fruit. Um, he gets roughly one and a half a day. Uh, studies on the DMAE show that it's as good or better than ADHD meds. You know, he wasn't on meds. Um, but at first, my doctor said, okay, why are you giving a hyper four-year-old an energy drink, right? But as he looked at it, he's like, wait, all these ADHD drugs? you know, or stimulants. So it's triggering the brain in that way, dilating the blood vessels, allowing that liquid brain food to get in and balancing it. It's regulating it, you guys, just like pro tandem nerve too. It's regulating things. So he can even take the caffeinated one at night and it can calm him to help him sleep. Um, just to give you an idea though, this, so Luke went to a phenomenal preschool um, and he was there for a full year plus the whole summer leading up to when Axio came out in September. And I didn't know about this till parent-teacher conferences the next spring when they showed us this. So they tested all the kids in September, and he's number 18, like there. Did not know his letters or sounds despite being at this awesome school for a year plus the whole summer, despite all these hours of therapy. Uh, and he's there, and then the second line, you can't even see because it's right there on the bottom. They retested all the kids in February, so what, five months later? And there he is, like top. Oh, yes, there's other kids in the class, but nobody went from there to there. And again, that was the one and only change. Um, he was in a social developmental class for two years with the preschool director. She said, Carrie, you know, Luke is now our peer model. We use Luke to teach others how to appropriately interact. Uh, his speech therapist ended up coming to me and saying, Carrie, uh, Luke is my star student. She said, I've never had a kid take off the way that he has. And she's like, I'm going to miss him, but he doesn't need me anymore. Um, so you guys, I'm passionate about this for a reason. And I feel like all those therapies we did, they absolutely helped. And I feel like it was all in there. It was just locked up in him. And then this came out and just, it was amazing. Because even, um, like my dad had taken him to a dinosaur museum two years before, and then he just starts rattling off all this stuff about dinosaurs. Like once he started being able to really talk, and we're like, where is this coming from? He's like, remember, grandpa took me to the dino museum. I mean, it was, so it's in there and locked up in there and it's it just absolutely incredible. So let me give you another visual. So, okay, let me kind of go back to the story. So my doctor, Dr. Brim Paul, uh, we, like I said, I've, we've seen him every week for a year and he knew about her tandem nerve too. Uh, he, he, multiple doctors, you know, had talked to him. He lectured with Dr. Dan Murphy. Uh, so he knew nerve too. But he was not open to network marketing whatsoever. And then that happened with Luke. And he's like, Carrie, I've managed to avoid network marketing for 20 years. <laughs> but he's like, I cannot ignore changes that significant in a kid that I've worked with. Um, and he ended up canceling patients with one week notice, jumped on a plane, met with the developer of Axio. We flew to South Dakota. Uh, 
saw a great chunk of my team. At that point, he was looking at the business as well. Um, and he knew what I did, but he was just so close to the fact that it was network marketing, he never gave it a fair shake. Um, but then when he opened his eyes, he's like, wait, you're making what? And your overhead is what, right? <laughs> but at the same point in time, he broke his knee. And he didn't take a single day off. And his overhead's roughly forty, fifty thousand a month. He has a phenomenal practice. But any, any, who's got their own business in here, right? If you're not working it, what happens? How long is that going to go, right? And that overhead would have been going out, so he couldn't take a single day off. So you guys, it's timing. Now I had talked to him over forty plus times. Now not watch the video, watch the video, watch the video, come to a meeting. Like I worked it into a conversation. He knew what I did. So he came, Todd, my husband actually had him at the appointment that day, and he came to me and said, can you get me information on Pro Tandem? I think I need to look at this. Now, a lot of people had talked to him, right? And again, uh, but I followed up again and again and again and again. And when the time was right for him, you know, then he took a serious look at it. And again, you know, all of that happening for a reason. I, I tease him, I'm like, you are so stubborn. God had to break your knee <laughs> to make you take a look at this, right? But that was truly when he thought, what if? What if I couldn't practice? Then what? Um, so, but it, it's been a process to build his belief in network marketing. And what I've also learned is, again, ask, questions and relate it to what they know, right? So I'm like, well, how have you built your practice? <laughs> Word of mouth, right? Happy, satisfied, excited people, passionate about how you've helped them, sharing it with other people as well. And just showing people, we all do network marketing all the time, we just don't get paid. I've sent them a million uh, clients, right? What, and so just what if, like, you know, and just showing them how they naturally refer people. So this is actually his nephew. His nephew just struggled with anxiety, uh, struggled in school, last to finish uh, his work kind of thing. Uh, you know, never diagnosed with anything. But this side, this is his handwriting before getting on Protana Nerf 2 and Axio. This is his handwriting one week later, the spelling test. One week later. Look at his ability to focus, right? Now, Dr. B always says this, he's like, you'd think after seeing Luke's results, I would have told my nephew right away, right? This took him a year, a year. So when I met with, I still remember meeting with the mom, and she was really pretty closed, not open to it. Um, struggling a lot um, but you know finally thought well what do I have to lose right so then I mean a week later I mean I just remember her calling me like in tears and you're not gonna believe the difference in him and all this type of thing uh, but how many of us like right our brain is like this scrambles <laughs> that's me right <laughs> um, so this is not about ADHD or autism or whatever um, but getting your brain clicking firing on all cylinders like you're in the zone uh does anyone like groggy when they wake up in the morning nobody okay <laughs> take an axio right take an axio you're slow my husband he, he calls it now and later right he does the huckleberry green grape and the raspberry all in one and he's like he has to have his now and later right get some energy now and later first thing in the morning i like if the bag is empty from the night before or whatever He's like, no, I can't even think to find it. Like, I have to get up and have it immediately. Um, anybody, like, get that midday lull? Drink it then, right? Anyone want a smoke and workout? If you're going to work out, don't you want the most out of it? Take it then, right? Anyone have a tough task that you just really have to focus and concentrate? you got to power through? Take it then. You guys, Axio is absolutely incredible. 
for everybody. Uh, I truly, truly believe that we are not doing a good enough job. Yes. I want to say for headaches too. Yes, yes. headaches, migraines. Maybe a half of one and the headache is gone. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Kerry, do you know why that only the caffeinated one has the DNA in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's always yeah. been really not the caffeine or not caffeinated, but I'm like, you should have the DMAE. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, but uh, Dr. Svita Silverman, a surgical pathologist in my business, I still remember her calling me like 6.30 in the morning and, and she just hardcore dug into the research and she's super healthy and vegan and, and she's like, all I can tell you, Carrie, there's, there's, it's so much beyond an energy drink, so much beyond what we know and she's just like, the more you can get in, Luke and you, everybody, the better. She's just like, just keep taking it. Yes, and I'm going to keep moving. Did you give them the caffeinated or decaffeinated? Both. So what I do is I make a bottle of each in the morning. Uh, he drinks it first thing. Uh, he takes it to school in like his water bottle, drinks it throughout the day, a combination of both, and then I give him more later in the day. And again, the effects are cumulative. So yeah, we saw a difference a couple weeks in, but also I'd rather under promise and over deliver, right? Absolutely. So set the right expectation, right? If people have been struggling with stuff for years, don't expect a miracle in a week or two. Okay. Um, but how awesome is this? Um, and it tastes great. Uh, most kids love it. Uh, but again, the effects are cumulative. My older one drinks it every single day as well. Great for sports. Um, back when they did what, games testing or whatever uh, last spring, I guess, you know, the teachers were saying like send snacks in, send bubble gum or whatever so the kids chew it, all this stuff. Like I sent Axio in for the whole class. Um, and I mean, focus, right? It's absolutely awesome, awesome, awesome. So you guys, please share Axio. We're missing the boat on this, yes. Did you put him on Botanum along with the Axio? So he was already taken Nerf too. Axio was the one and only change at that point. He also takes Nerf 1 and ProBio every single day. How much Nerf 2 is, and Nerf 1 is he taking? Is he taking a half or a whole? He takes a full amount of everything. Full amount of everything. Yeah. How old is he at 5? He's 6 now. And he, had, he did not, he couldn't swallow the pill at first, right? For years we crushed it. Um, and you got to find a way to get it in him. Uh, so I found the best way, because at first I'm trying to crush a, a, a pill and it just wasn't working, so I crushed a bottle in the blender uh, down to a fine powder and I just scoop it out every day. And I did it in dairy and gluten and peanut free and I did it in vanilla almond milk with a chocolate protein powder and just called it chocolate milk because you have to do something to mask the flavor. But you guys get it in them. And you know, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I do. I nag my kids every morning like, no, if you don't get breakfast, they take pills. <laughs> yeah, for the like, probiotic, are you blending that too? No, so then when the probiotic came out, he was five last Christmas and uh, he, he got to swallow it or you're losing benefits which we'll talk about in a second uh, um, but so I taught him to swallow the pill and you know I, everyone has different motivations use what motivates them right I mean you guys I'm serious you got to get this in people every single day uh, he loves like video games or whatever it's like oh you want a little time on this well take pills drink more <laughs> do this like I mean do what you got to do did you have a quick yeah, absolutely. Yep. And the capsules, like we would open up with the Nerf one. Um, I mean, really? now literally Luke can do, uh, he can swallow two ProBio plus the Nerf two in one yeah. swallow. Like, uh -huh. He's a rock star. Yeah. It's yeah. awesome. Yeah. I do, I do. You know, we know that kids on the spectrum have higher levels of oxidative stress. We knew he had mitochondrial dysfunction. We know that there's a huge gut brain connection. Heal the gut, heal the brain. Um, we know he doesn't detox properly, all that kind of thing. So that's just me personally, right? If, if it sounds good. Do you give your older boy the full, what do you give your older boy? My older boy? one gets the same amount too. Say, so full dose. Mm -hmm. And he use, he takes the protein shake and he actually is 10 and uses the True Science face wash as well oh, too. We yes. are hardcore, like we believe in these products. So we okay, we gotta go on, we got a lot of stuff uh, to talk about. But uh, yeah, we believe, we believe, right? <laughs> so